Guys, my sponsor MMO EXP has the cheapest coins on the internet by far. And for a limited time right now, every order using code DOM at checkout gives you 10% extra coins added onto your order. They aren't instant coins, but no other site is, and they are 100% trusted. You can waste your money on packs in Madden Ultimate Team, or you can spend it on something guaranteed with coins on MMO EXP. Go use my link that is at the top of the description of this video. Use your mom's credit card wisely. All right, guys, we're nearing the end of Madden 20 so I'm gonna do something I've been doing the past couple years and make some predictions of cards we should get in Madden 21 as the title says these are all Madden 20 legends that I really would like to come to the game so hopefully they do last year I was actually really good with my predictions I can't lie <laughs> like I was really 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 on point with them and I'm pretty shocked that was and we're gonna start off pretty big with Troy Palomalu next up we have Jim Brown and honestly this is one of the best looking cards that he made I don't think Jim Brown will ever be in Madden because if you type in Madden and Jim Brown I guarantee you the lawsuit will pop up that happened with him and EA a couple years ago, but hey I can dream after that we've got Peyton Manning I hate the Colts and quite honestly I don't like Peyton Manning because he beat the Pats a couple times in the playoffs after that We've got a guy who should be higher on the list, but he's been in the game nearly every single year The last one he was in was 18 sadly He was not in 19 which I wish he was because he would have been pretty unstoppable but that is Bo Jackson. First up, we've got another quarterback, the second best quarterback of all time. And this card art is probably my favorite or second favorite out of all of these. It's Joe Montana. Now, number two is my second 49er. In the top three, that is Patrick Willis. I have been wanting him in the game for years now. Ever since he retired, I have been wanting him in Madden. And EA has crushed my dreams every single year by making bad games, but they've also crushed my dreams with Patrick Willis. Like I got Troy Polamalu, Bo Jackson, freaking Joe Montana, Patrick Willis, and the most shocking one of all, Jim Brown Correct. I genuinely can't believe that. So don't take this list with a grain of salt. Take it as me knowing exactly what I'm talking about because I am the CEO of predictions. Another Madden 21 prediction, uh, it's gonna be pretty sick for the first month and then it's gonna suck. You heard it here first. <laughs> anyway guys, I would like to give a quick shout out to the director, he made these card arts for me. His link to his channel is in the description down below, go give him a sub, that would be sick. Shout out to him again, this man makes fire card art. Let's look at the list, shall we? And once again, don't take these with a grain of salt, I guarantee I'm getting all of them correct. Probably. And guys, if you like videos like this, please subscribe, turn on notifications if any of my uploads. Hit the like button on this video, drop a milk squad down below, and give me some players down below that you guys would like in the game. I would love to hear your predictions for some legends that might drop a Madden 21. I do know it got leaked that Tony Romo is going to be in the game, which is going to be freaking awesome, otherwise he'll be on this list. So, so let's just pretend he's on the list and say that I got another one right. Let's go. Also, a couple of these guys are also from my list last year, so uh, be prepared for that. They're gonna be in the game, trust me. Number one here, Derek Thomas. This guy hasn't been in the game for, I don't even know how long. Since Madden 25, maybe? Maybe Madden 15? I'm not exactly sure. I'm a newbie to Madden. I started the Ultimate Team in 16. Regardless, Derek Thomas is one of the best NFL players ever. It would be amazing to have him in the game. He was on my list last year and probably on my list the year before. He's got to be back at some point, right? Like, he's got to be. It's as simple as that. Looking at his stats, obviously, 90 overall, 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 93 power movement, 89 finesse move. On day one of Madden 21, that would be freaking ridiculous and honestly considering the card art change I uh, this actually looks pretty decent like great job by the director great freaking job my guy great freaking job and next up this guy has been in the game recently but he wasn't in Madden 20 for whatever reason Ladanian Tomlinson also amazing card art like holy freaking god bro this actually gets me hyped for Madden 21 and I uh, really wasn't before because good god EA makes them worse every single year 
But 89 speed on this guy with 93 break tackle and 89 elusiveness would be insane. I guarantee if they dropped a Ladanian Tomlinson day one, it would be the best card in the game for at least like a month. That is not a joke. And considering we might not get an NFL season due to coronavirus, <laughs> he might be the best card in the game for a little bit past that. I actually really want this card in the game because Ladanian Tomlinson cards go off for me. He's insane in Madden. And judging by the way the run game was in Madden 20 and how it's apparently improved for Madden 21, <laughs> a running back like this would just be unfair. Here's hoping Eric Dickerson's not in the game. Next up, I know this guy has been on my wish list for the past couple of years. Charles Woodson. Where's he been at? <laughs> we get John freaking Elway every year, but we can't get Charles Woodson. That's kind of freaking stupid if you ask me. 89 speed. All of these guys have like 89 speed. What is this? <laughs> 91 acceleration, 89 man, 91 zone. He would be ridiculous. Especially a six foot one. He's got hit power usually. This card would be stupid good. Like, absolutely stupid good. And I genuinely pray that he's in Madden 21. Otherwise, what's the point? Don't even release it if he's not in the game, EA. I actually do. If, if, no, if the number one guy on this list is in the game, release it. I don't care if there's any other legends in the game. Just release it. Number two, before I say a couple honorable mentions, and then we get into number one. Patriots legend and Super Bowl champion. Darrell Revis. He's one of the best cornerbacks of all time, bro. He's not in the right uniform in that picture. I would take him in a Bucks uniform or a Patriots uniform over Jets because he is a Patriots legend, let's face it. You guys can drop Tom Brady Bucks legend jokes down below if you would like, as well as Gronk, because they're stealing everybody from us. 88 speed, 91 acceleration, 89 agility, 87 jumping, 89 play rec, 91 man, 88 zone, and 83 press. This card would be pretty sick. Press is a little love for Darrell Revis because he's literally one of the best man coverage corners of all time. If not number one or number two, I'd say he's probably number two because it's pretty hard to top Dion at this point. He was literally always one of the best corners in the game in my opinion, so to have him in Madden 21 would be absolutely amazing. Now here's a couple of honorable mentions. Also stay a little bit longer because I do have a giveaway I'm going to talk about at the end of this video for Madden 21. So just uh, stick around. Honorable mentions, Isaac Bruce. Yeah, that's really about it. Let's go to number one. <laughs> number one. He is always number one in my book. He's the greatest football player of all time. He was on the Patriots. He was on the Jets. He was on the Broncos. And now he's in the MLB. <laughs> For some reason, it is what it is. Timothy Tebow. Literally, I name every quarterback of mine after him. <laughs> in back and play. I need Tim Tebow in the game. He would be my quarterback from start to finish. If he were in Madden 20, I would have made my golden ticket off of him. I'm not even kidding. 84 speed, 92 throw power, 88 short, 79 mid. It's pretty accurate. Well, that's un inaccurate, but you guys get the point. 84 deep, 86 throw under pressure, 93 throw on the run, 85 play action, and 99. Uh, not good enough to be a legend, but he should be. He's the GOAT, what can I say? Round of applause, fire card art, Tim Tebow. What more could you want in this world, baby? Not much, really not much at all. Maybe he'll be on the Legend Edition of Madden 21. I, I don't know, probably not, because like I said, he wasn't very good actually. But I would love a Tim Tebow in the game. The guy would be absolutely unstoppable. Imagine a golden ticket Tim Tebow. He'd probably have the speed of RG3 in this game. He could truck like a running back. Plus, he'd actually have decent throwing stats at that point. It would be just unfair. The last game he was in was Madden 16, and he was just unstoppable in that when he had his 99 overalls. Ugh. I need him back in the game. I really do. I miss him deeply. But that is my list of legends that need to be in Madden 21, guys. It... it it's as simple as that, bro. Those guys need to be in the game. Last year, I went like... 7 for 10 on my predictions, something like that. So you can expect me to go to 100% this year. They're all gonna be swishes. Let's freaking go, baby. <laughs> I honestly think a couple of these guys will be in the game this year. 
really hoping for Isaac Bruce and Tim Tebow most of all uh, because Isaac Bruce slayed in Madden 16 as did Tim Tebow and really the rest of these guys are really good in Madden as well so let's hope they're in the game and speaking of Madden 21 I am going to be giving away some copies right before Madden 21 comes out I just wanted to announce that to you guys I'm probably gonna give away like three copies I'd say I'm not gonna go bankrupt okay it's my mom's credit card we're all good here we're all good, it's fine. <laughs> so courtesy of my mom's credit card, I will be giving away probably like three copies of Madden 20. I don't exactly know the specifics of when I'm gonna do the giveaway, but I just wanted to inform you guys because I figured you guys would like to know that I'm going to be doing that before the game drops. And of those three copies, I'm gonna give away one special version with this cover art. I don't know who that is, but he's handsome, he's tall, he's Italian, and he's probably a great YouTuber, a really great Madden YouTuber. So if you guys would like a copy with that cover art, I will custom put it on there and mail it to you myself. I do not care. I will do it. Either way, guys, this was my Madden 21 Legends predictions. Let's hope they come true. I am really, really, really on the edge here hoping that Tim Tebow will come out because I've wanted him in the game for five years now. I will actually freak out. I will open up all the packs with my mom's card. I will make my mom bankrupt if it means I get to pull Tim Tebow. Okay? I've done it before, okay? I'm not afraid to do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel and you did enjoy, please subscribe, turn on notifications, if you miss any of my uploads. Tell me the legends you hope for down below. It can be from your team, any team, doesn't matter. It can be from a different sports league for all I care. Just give me some of your opinions, <laughs> please. <laughs> and hit the like button. Hit the like button or Madden 21 is gonna suck and Eric Dickerson's gonna be the cover athlete for Madden 22. Thanks again guys, Akuna Matata, you're all freaking savage. I'll see you guys next upload. Love y'all. Peace.